Hey you all, this is Ascension Empress with your Divine Feminine New Moon in Leo bonus reading. May peace and blessings be upon you all. Thank you all so much for your support. And welcome if you are new. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're going to get into it and see what messages we have. This is a collective reading for the Divine Feminine Energy. Gender is fluid. Okay, so please take what resonates with you. Okay. Wow. Wow. Y'all, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, Divine Feminine. Stay, stay grounded. I'm here and stay solid, all right? Yes, because y'all, this burden is about to be dropped, okay? Somebody, okay, here we go, y'all. Peace and blessings be upon you all. We in this, okay? This this energy has been so strong, okay? We got the another full moon in Aquarius coming up, but in this Leo season, with Mars and Virgo as well, okay, we are being called to, you know, really take care of those responsibilities. What's worth, you know, taking on this load, pushing forward this load, okay? Because soon, it's going to be the Ace of Wands, okay? And there's going to be judgment over this work, okay? This effort that's been put in, all right? The harvest season is coming, y'all. So spirit is really, you know, emphasizing a lot when it comes to, you know, how we manage our time, our energy, especially our physical energy here. OK, because this legal season has been speaking to, you know, expression, what we desire, our, what we entertain. OK, so this not a wands. Be mindful. People coming in, they see you grounded. They see you focused and looking good, looking responsible, taking accountability, really, you know, and even receiving the results of your efforts, of your hard work. You look divine feminine. It looks like you have carried a load by yourself for a while now and whatever is coming in i'm also getting another stream of income because there is something that's it has you feeling secure okay it has you feeling good i'm also getting come september okay i'm here in virgo season okay because it could definitely be this month around the time of the full moon in aquarius all right but you're bringing in a lot of um a lot of fire energy people who may be interested they may be want to you know take advantage they they just want some of your energy okay and it looks like that you are very resourceful is what spirit is saying okay so let's see what do we have going into the past what messages do we have going into the past from our divine feminine energy spirit right three of swords okay so again it looks like you was carrying a load by yourself for some time now here with the ten of wands and this three of swords is speaking to you know maybe in the past there was some heartbreak there was betrayal that you're like i'm i got this it's fine all right there may be someone feeling guilty too wanting to work at something but yeah we gonna have to see <laughs> this, is, this is something right so what do we have also see you know whatever this heartbreak or whatever is lingering on your mind what was said or some type of betrayal or separation you decide to put your energy a lot of energy into work and your security and it's paying off it's coming in all right so i'm also hearing it's coming in fast with this knight of wands what do we need to know about the energy going forward right everything is fine so now somebody's gonna be pretending like everything is fine okay Whew. What's overlaying the reading spirit? We're going to clarify. What messages do we have overlaying the reading from our divine feminine energy spirit? Right. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, y'all. You got the queen of swords. You got the judgment and the four of pentacles. So you are definitely aware of what you're doing when it comes to the ten of wands. What you all are carrying. Okay, you know what every wand is the purpose of every wand like if it's worth it i feel like you know it's worth it okay because again somebody's putting their time and their energy into career into their stability now all right and that y'all that was like the divine the last divine feminine reading okay protecting your energy and you know just allowing people to watch you mind your business while they underestimated you okay maybe even betrayed you had you in a third party situation now here they are coming back but there's judgment over your life okay y'all you may even be committed communicating this with the queen of swords you're like um I, look now like i've made my decision i'm i'd rather be obedient okay again you th this is not a burden if you're choosing to do what you're you're led to do what you know is going to you know bring you something 
you know, something real, okay, something material. I'm also hearing, again, that Capricorn energy. So y'all are protecting your energy and blocking anything that does not serve you, okay? I, and I feel like this is, you know, it could definitely be this Knight of Wands energy, okay? So I'm getting definitely karmic masculine energy. This can be man or woman, okay? But there's a, yep, there's a karmic energy who wants to maybe wants you a little sideways. They don't want you putting in all this work, okay? Because he, especially if this is a man, okay, it seems like they feel some type of way that you can sit here and push forward with this much effort this much dedication and motivation and bring this in meanwhile they're inconsistent okay so there is again a level of obedience when it comes to you okay and there is your reward all right so with the four of pentacles and the, everything is fine somebody's clutching somebody's feeling blocked somebody's trying to pretend everything is fine while they're juggling while they're inconsistent but that is the fruit of their so-called labor okay they they spent a lot of time and energy doing nothing is what i'm getting oh yeah that was something okay spirit lead this reading y'all all right so what do you want the divine feminine collective to be aware of spirit what would you like them to be aware of when it comes to this ten of wands and the two of pentacles because i see something coming in for you i'm also hearing assistance okay that's going to help you know ease this load all right because judgment is here that spirit sees that you have you know you you've done what you need to do right right exactly spirit sees other people may not see because i feel like this may be some again oh okay so they may not see this three of swords like i said somebody buried themselves in work i don't even feel like you buried yourself you just came to this realization like I've wasted enough time and energy. I might as well put it into something that's going to, you know, produce some type of value. Okay, I'm also getting Taurus energy. So y'all have definitely taken a stand. Listen to your intuition. All right, you're like, I may not know everything that's coming towards me. I may not know what's on the other side. Something might you like, you know, something's not clear. But you know that as long as you're in this energy, you're going to get something out of it when it becomes clear. All right, so you're like, whether this is a another heartbreak whether somebody trying to you know send me negative energy as long as i protect my energy as long as i focus on you know pushing forth all right i'm getting mad i marathon energy I i'm good okay yeah i feel like you know you're gonna come out on the other side just fine all right because you know about this judgment energy many of y'all are so tapped in all right so what else what else spirit spirit <laughs> would you like yeah would you like divine feminine to okay to know yes temperance y'all mm, mm, mm. that this card it has been so loyal it's it's been loyal because we need it at this time we this is the support okay and i feel like you being loyal to you is definitely going to be the energy that you know even the masculine is going to be inspired by y'all that seven of wands was huge when it came to the light series deck in y'all last reading around you protecting your energy and taking that time for self-care and self-love all right and it's bringing in a lot of you know a lot of other energy people who are attracted and they're sensing this they're realizing that you've taken your cup and now you're pouring it elsewhere okay but this patience you have with yourself it, it's beautiful right look at that two of wands okay it's beautiful and it's very, very productive. It's positioning you. Like you are positioning yourself and not even having to argue. It's not up for debate. It's not up for debate. You already got the position a wand ago. Okay, when you had six wands, they were celebrating. Why do you have to defend yourself now? Spirit is saying, so you, Spirit is saying, pick your battles. Pick your battles. Okay, less is more. Okay, you can show them by being proactive, by doing it. By letting, by letting this Queen of Pentacles speak for itself, okay? Letting the Ten of Swords energy and other people's inconsistency, let their fruit speak for itself and let your fruit speak for itself. That's that energy again around you're not in competition. You don't compare when you compete with yourself, right? Look, star card at the bottom of the deck. What else would you like Divine Feminine to know, Spirit? What do you want them to know about this judgment energy? Right. Anything else? Okay. What else, Spirit? Wow. I love the cards that like to show themselves, too. Okay. So, they're saying because of your faith. Okay. How light is your heart? 
how much baggage baggage will you bring again there's judgment here for the work and the burden that you may have carried okay if maybe some of y'all may be feeling guilty somebody may have been projecting their their guilt their mistakes their third party whatever onto you you're like mm -mm, mm -mm. judgment is here like you can drop that now. You can drop that because you are like your path has nothing to do with where they're going. They're like, you're so much more obedient is what they're saying. Look, y'all. Exactly. As soon as I said your path is nothing, has nothing to do with where they're going. They can't be on your path. This tower has to happen. It has to happen, y'all. Look, King of Cups in reverse. Okay, so this could definitely be a water sign. Okay, but I feel like somebody who is emotionally unstable. This person is upside down. They're drowning their emotions. Also will not be accountable. Maybe very emotionally unavailable. That is why they're inconsistent. That's why they're in and out. That's why there is no... I'm here. There's no discipline. There's no discipline. There's a lack of morals, integrity. Meanwhile, you're being patient. That's what's causing this tower. That was like in that ancestor reading of how... You know, you stepping into your power is what's causing a tower in other people's lives. And it's necessary. I like it, y'all. Okay. So let's see. What advice do you have for the Divine Feminine Spirit? What advice do you have for the Divine Feminine? Right. Nine of Cups. They want you to embrace this energy that is here for you. Okay. This gratitude, first and foremost. Okay. They want you to be thankful in advance. I'm hearing when this tower happens, if it feels burdening, if you feel like you have to start defending yourself, they still want you to be in this Nine of Cups energy. Okay. Because this is the rebirth. This is the test of your faith and how light your feather is. Okay. Because you made it clear going into the past what you wanted. Right. Okay. You, you. You cut out whatever you needed to cut out. You let somebody know what it was that they can they can't have access to you no more. Okay, so now when this tower happens, spirit is saying we need you to keep that same energy. We need you to keep that same energy. All right. What else would you like, divine feminine, to know, spirit? What else would you like, divine feminine, to know? Right. And the hermit came out in reverse over here again, y'all. Okay, so this is a whole different type of karma. Judgment is happening over your life. And judgment is happening over here. Someone who does not want to go within. They do not want to sit still. Okay. Knight of Wands energy. They don't want to sit with their emotions. They want to pretend like everything is fine. They want to be closed off. And it's going to affect their finances. Okay. While you have stability here. Hooey. What's the overall message? What is the overall message for my divine feminine spirit? Then we're going to pull a guidance card. <laughs> Look at the bottom, y'all. See? I told you. Seven of Wands energy. Right? Okay. And then look. Temperance again. You got temperance twice. And it's been coming out so much with the Page of Cups. They want you to have temperance, have patience. Okay? Especially when it comes to the visions that y'all are receiving. Okay? Because many of y'all are tapped in. Okay? I mean, this High Priestess energy is so strong. They want you to just, spirit. yeah, they're saying just imagine. Oh, my gosh, yes, spirit. They're like, just imagine. Wow. What this rebirth has to offer you. I don't even see y'all too much concerned with what other people got going on. Again, when you are focused on you, you competing with yourself, it makes so much sense why you're like, like this tower is happening. People, these, this energy cannot even survive. On the frequency that you are, you are, I'm hearing you're producing, you're welcoming, you're expanding, y'all. This is amazing. One more, Spirit. One more. All right. What's the overall divine feminine message? Overall divine feminine message. Yes. King of Cups, right? And the Four of Wands. So y'all ancestors are like, yeah. They want you to, they want you to be, yes, and pay homage and give them, that. definitely give them praise. Okay, because I feel like they're working behind the scenes. You got the King of Cups here as well. Here you are upright, vibrating so much higher, showing yourself so much love, this emotional fulfillment, this gratitude, this self-love. All right, somebody is not loving themselves because they're constantly seeking external validation. Okay, they're not wanting to come off as emotional, but they're not embracing it either because if they did, they wouldn't be closed off like this. All right, so I just see y'all... You focused on you. Okay. And it is serving you so well, y'all. It's serving you so well. All right. So let's see. What's the overall soul journey message, please, for my divine feminine? What's the overall soul journey message for my divine feminine? 
right two cards trust <laughs> i love it in abundance y'all oh we okay i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly you see look she it wasn't no no debate no time to think about it it's just already knowing okay having faith and confidence in your judgment yeah oh yeah all right in abundance i am lit i am okay i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality y'all you know that so whatever happened in the past whatever separation whatever betrayal you like first of all i know i am okay so some of y'all may also be doing affirmations spirit is saying your words are very powerful your the emotions the gratitude that you give out okay that you give to this world the love and the praise and that you show your ancestors your ancestors and those who are supporting you it, it's contributing to everything it's contributing to this new you y'all okay so that is your reading thank you all again so much for your love and your support if you would like a personal you can email me my information is down below in the description box please take care you all bye